제 어린 시절 제 청춘을 다 바친 YG보다 사실은 SM이 더 좋습니다. SM이 더 좋습니다. Hey guys, welcome again to a very special video today. After all the comments I got on my first one, I decided to do a YG expose video. Now for my other videos, you can probably tell already that I'm a YG stan and stan mainly YG artists. But even though I'm YG trash, it does not mean I can't call out the entertainment company on what they do or how they treat their artists. That being said, I'm going to try to put as much evidence as possible into this video, so check the description when you're done. And I'm sort of going to divide this up like I did in my first video so I can focus on each point individually. The YG Dungeon it is no secret how often YG artists have comebacks and the little promotion they get when they do, but it's so concerning and prevalent that people often say that YG artists are kept in a dungeon for the majority of their careers. YG Entertainment has done this to many artists at the hands of YG himself. Unlike other companies, YG encourages its artists to be involved in songwriting for their own music, but even if they are responsible for this lengthy process, I think the time between comebacks is ridiculous. Take Akmu and Lehigh, for example. When the brother of the Akmu duo enlisted, he asked YG to give his sister a comeback while he's gone, which hasn't happened. She will probably be on hiatus until he gets out. And then we have Lehigh, who cried and apologized to her fans because she was having so much difficulty putting out any music. It shouldn't be this hard to release music for artists at least once a year. Probably the most prevalent mistreatment I've seen is of CL. CL is currently in a stagnate position, unable to release any music for whatever reason. In 2015, before 21 disbanded, CL was under a lot of pressure to do well in the US. In an interview, YG said that once CL finds her success in the United States on her solo projects, then they can focus on another 21 comeback. I'm not sure exactly how she was supposed to do it since she was already being restricted from releasing music in the first place. But she wrote and recorded close to 200 songs in 2016, even recording a music video that was never released. Apparently the problem is between the terms of CL's contracts between Scooter Braun and YG Entertainment, but I definitely think that there's more to this story. Next point is on Blackpink, who waited almost two years for a mini album. This frustrates me even more because of the immediate success of Blackpink at their debut and even now. The fact that it took so long to release a mini album with only four songs on it, one of which was created and recorded in 2015, is really frustrating to me. The YG Dungeon is real and it is killing Idol's careers. Also another thing I can add is that he always promises acts to release their own music, but he never ever does so. Like, for example, how he didn't let Tang release Rise the way he wanted, or how we never came out with Daesung's Korean album in 2014. And also he teased Bomb and Minzy solos from years ago that never happened. And then eventually Minzy leaked it on YouTube, but then that was deleted. And then there's also so much unnecessary harshness and arrogant comments from him, like telling Winner to stop writing their own music for their songs and basically forgetting about them when Icon debuted. And then messing up and forcing Daesung to ruin his voice at the start of Big Bang. And there's so many things like that, but that's just the beginning of what I'm getting into. Okay, so I talked about this before, but I'm gonna talk about it again. YG is grossly misogynistic, and I can give examples. First, which is the most well-known, is the way he handled Bomb's scandal in 2014. The scandal accused her of a very serious claim of smuggling drugs into South Korea illegally, and YG did virtually nothing to help, leaving her to deal with the problem herself, even naming her the reason why 21 disbanded. Yet, when G-Dragon was accused of smoking marijuana a couple years ago, he only went on a three-month hiatus and was back to doing activities in Big Bang. YG released a statement saying she left because the criticism was too immense. But if you really cared about her mental or emotional state, why wouldn't you help her in the press and public? It just doesn't add up for me. In 2011, YG announced that a new girl group would debut within the year, but up until 2016, only two boy groups debuted and no female ones. 
It was assumed the group would be Future 21, but their debut simply never happened. Two of them left YG, and another one is still there who has been training for over eight years. It also doesn't help that the girl group Sue Pearls disbanded before debut in 2013 as well. This was Lehigh's first group. YG also isn't shy about his awful opinions to his female idols as well. He's called 21 ugly to their face while rehearsing without makeup, and Lehigh also confessed that she had received the exact same treatment. Moving on, next I want to discuss the situation on YG's wife. Basically, his wife was a part of the early girl group Sweet Tea, and he was their boss at the time and had a crush on her since their debut. In an interview he did, YG admitted to not promoting her group because he didn't want her to forget about him if she became too big or successful. He sabotaged this woman's career because he wanted to date her. This is probably the most alarming to me because he literally kept her under his thumb during her idol career, and not to mention he ruined the potential success of the other women in the group. It shows how he uses his position to his advantage. In conclusion, I know YG has a lot of responsibility for his company and that he's technically not the CEO anymore, but my points still stand. Like I've said before, YG is declining from their top spot and each day it gets more and more obvious, at least to me. Between Big Bang's hiatus right now, Psy leaving the company, CL threatening to leave the company on social media like frequently, and them losing so many big household names in the industry, the future for YG does not look very bright. But I only hope for justice and respect for all my favorite YG groups and that they can pass this mistreatment. Okay, so let me know what you guys think of YG and what other opinions you may have of him. And don't forget to leave a comment because I literally read that all the time. So see you guys later.